chatting with a lot of the folks running for office during the last several weeks. And in Studio B with us this morning is Bradford Randall. And I believe, uh, Bradford, first of all, good morning. Thanks for coming in to WHD this morning. Good morning, Rob. Thank you. Great to have you in here. And you are a uh, write-in candidate, a Republican for the 12th Plymouth District. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct. Okay. Um, should I should I go on? Just, yeah, I want right. to I want to kind of give you a few minutes to tell people uh, why they should come out and vote sure. and how they can get involved in uh, what you're doing as far as being a writing candidate. What's that all about? Well, you were actually talking about why independents uh, need to have a, dis- a, a, a a very loud voice tomorrow, and and they have a lot of power in the 12th Plymouth District. All we need is 150 write-in votes to put a Republican on the ballot against incumbent Tom Coulter. 150, and that happens. Now, that's going to be hard to do because I just got word yesterday that my Democratic opponent plans to also seek to be the Republican nominee through write-in votes, which makes it a three-way write-in campaign. But good morning. My name is Bradford Randall. I'm 26 years old. I'm a graduate of Silver Lake Regional High School, St. Bonaventure University, and I've lived in Kingston most of my life. I've actually lived in three towns in my district, Duxbury, Kingston, and Plymouth. And I went to school for journalism, left my job at the Nashua Telegraph, the second largest newspaper in New Hampshire, when I found out that no one had stepped forward to represent the Republican Party in my district. To me, that was unacceptable because I believe we need a choice. We need a choice between business as usual on Beacon Hill and a new set of values. We need to talk about the unfunded mandates that are burdening our districts and our town budgets. And I mean special education. And and just in Halifax, one of the towns in my district, $2 million. That's how much they spend on special education. That makes about 20% of their budget. If you're a homeowner in Halifax, you pay almost $500 a year for unfunded state mandates. Meanwhile, your property taxes, I mean, your property taxes keep going up, and your property values are $60,000 less on average than they were in 2008. Now, something's wrong here. We're paying more money. Our homes are worth less. And no one's saying that children don't deserve an education, of course they do, but it needs to be paid through our income taxes and not our property taxes. So you can pay that tax based on your ability and not just your assets. We need to increase local aid. We need to protect our property rights. And when structures are built as of right, like massive industrial-sized wind turbines, we need to keep our right to a public hearing. We need to keep our right as citizens to be notified, as impacted abutters. Now, how can you help tomorrow? Tomorrow is going to be a big day. We need a high turnout, especially from independents, and independents need to know that they can get a Republican ballot. They're going to see the position that's listed as representative in general court. There's going to be no Republican candidates. I'm going to ask you to write in Bradford Randall, B-R-A-D-F-O-R-D-R-A-N-D-A-L-L. We're going to give the district the discussion that I just brought to you. We need you standing outside. We need bodies at some precincts in Plymouth tomorrow. So if you'd be willing to hold a sign and hand out postcards telling voters what to do, give me a text and, and we'll use it. Now, Bradford, again, uh, Bradford Randall, by the way, is a Republican write-in candidate for the 12 Plymouth District. So, again, uh, you need 150 people to write your name in on a Republican ballot. Is that correct? Yeah, it's, it's not the process I would have chosen. Um, but then again, you need 150 signatures to mm-hmm. make the ballot as an actual candidate. And so that deadline had passed by the time I found out that no one had stepped up to represent the party. Mm -hmm. Talked to the Secretary of State. He said, when you get the 150 write-in votes, it's the same thing. Okay, so uh, in any event, you want to have uh, so that the the person that has the office now has an opponent in the the fall, is that what you're saying? Because otherwise there would be no choice? There, otherwise, there would be no choice. I was okay. the first to announce my intentions, and uh, we actually got another candidate on the Republican Party uh, who says he wants to run because he doesn't think I'm the right guy. Okay. All right. So, again, uh, you need 150 people to, again, r- take a Republican ballot tomorrow in the primary. And write, and write Bradford down Randall. Bradford Randall. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Well, Bradford, thanks for coming in. We wanted to give you time, I know, because we're coming up quickly on the primary day. All right, and that's the 12th Plymouth District, and uh, Bradford, again, tell us what uh, communities, for those that maybe aren't even familiar, what district they're in. Absolutely. All of Kingston, all of Plimpton, all of Halifax, Precinct 1 in Duxbury, Precinct 1, 13, and 11 in Plymouth, that's North Plymouth and West Plymouth, and Precinct 1 in Middleborough, that's the Oak Point community. Bradford Randall, thanks for coming in and sharing your thoughts. Thank you so much. Rob, thank you. All right, 917 on the South Shore's Morning News.